and night was uneventful and the morning she is continues to be in a stable condition her vital parameters like blood pressure respiratory rate urine output are within acceptable limits and she is making an attempt to breathe on her own and we are about to start the one parental nutrition as she will not be able to take the feed from her mouth because of the intestinal uh, yes. loss and i would uh, she has shown some signs of a reduction of the total count and there is mild diminution of platelet count otherwise she is alert conscious and really she is brave i would say as you have mentioned in your media she is really a brave girl and we standing right from the day of the assault and till today everything and uh, continues to be stable that's what i would like to that's what i have that what is the medical bulletin i can give you today morning सर अभी डॉक्टर मिश्रा जी भी आए हुए हैं एम्स क्या अब सफदरजंग और एम्स मिलकर इलाज करें मिश्रा जी इज हियर टू टू वी वांटेड टू सॉर्ट ऑफ हैव हिज डिस्कशन मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट प्लान्स एंड वी आर इन कांस्टेंट टच वी आर नेबरिंग इंस्टीट्यूट सफदरजंग हॉस्पिटल एंड ट्रॉमा सेंटर सर वी शेयर a lot of information and resources because they have to get lot of trauma patients and we to get a lot of trauma patients like head injuries and abdominal injuries so that way some kind of uh, functional uh, this collaboration. collaboration and relationship exists between we two neighboring institutes sir abhi kitne operation hue hain aur kaun kaun si surgery ke baad abhi is time condition Uh, see we have we have i think we are making it once again clear to you i think all of you are reporting numeral and number wise 1 2 3 4 not like that you we we have i have been making it very clear to you once again on the day of admission that is on 16 17 night she had to undergo emergency exploratory laparotomy that is opening of the abdomen because there was a strong suspicion of intestinal injury by the team of uh, doctors especially general surgeons and gynecologists now sir are you able to say that and after that let me complete the, the question and after that the uh, the yesterday elective exploratory laparotomy has been done for to have a relook at the state of intestines to see whether viability of the remaining portions of the intestine this i think has already been informed and this has already been conveyed and you already carried in the press this this is important so what about the level of infection you told us this morning that it is i mean until now it hasn't been up to a level of emergency but what will follow considering the fact that she has been on and off the ventilator for some time now no ventilator she has not she has been always on ventilator she was on uh, 7, 18th morning she was on partial support but she has uh, been on <coughs> ventilator support we have not made an attempt to wean her off from the ventilator support as of now because that is not something need uh, there is not something in urgently required to be done so and as for the infection is concerned uh, as uh, you know that the intestine was in a state of gangrenous condition and the there are perineal wounds she is very in infection in this case is one of the impending danger impending complication it is one of the expected anticipated complication and uh, to avert that to the, we have been giving her prophylactic antibiotics right from the uh, day one enough adequate quantities of prophylactic antibiotics or surgeons have been given doctor how many surgeries in total have been performed she has operated twice only twice only and twice and surgery is because there is a lot less of charity in terms surgery has been done twice and only one type of that is laparotomy on one on day one it was emergency on yesterday it was relook that is elective exploratory laparotomy to have a re look at the state uh, state of the abdominal organs especially intestine okay now uh, now you are in the position to say that she is 
position? I am not saying out of danger. She continues to remain in intensive care unit with life supports, but her vital parameters are within acceptable normalcy. Doctor, once she regains consciousness, once she is in a normal position, medically speaking, what is the kind of life that she would have to live? If you could just medically explain to us what is the kind of life that she would lead? I think what we are concerned today, foremost concern of all of us, medical <laughs> and even the parents is the survival of the, she has to come out of this acute crisis. That is, this case. if she gets past this particular, if she remains stable and gets past this particular acute uh, this stage, then we'll talk about that. As of now, we are very, for most concern of us is to make her stable. Right. And like